What's going on everybody, JCSB here, and welcome to episode 5 of season 3 of our Minecraft Let's Play. And if it's not already apparent, I am in a very, very good mood. This is the first 30 minute special of season 3. I told you guys that I would do one every 5th episode, and seeing how this is episode 5, uh, it's time for a 30 minute video. And guys, Minecraft 1.1 has been released. Look in the bottom left hand corner of the screen, it's official. We've now got the language options, so I figured I'd start the episode off by showing... Uh, you know, obviously I'm going to be playing on English US. I really like this language though. It's called Pirate Speak. It's really, really funny. I went and played a couple uh, of minutes using it and it's extremely funny. But anyways, we'll stay on English. So let's get into our Let's Play world. Now whenever a new update comes out, I like to start on the home screen. So if you're wondering why I did that, uh, there's your answer. Now, first thing I want to point out is I have all brand new tools here. I actually did die. And I'm going to uh, I'm gonna show you how I did that. I found this cave over here. I was just playing off camera because I wanted to see what 1.1 was like. I didn't really do anything but explore this cave and I happened to die. But anyways, there's still a lot of ores in here that I haven't grabbed. So we might as well do that while I'm down here. So there's just a bit of iron there. Uh, not really much. But anyways, I, I came over here. Here's some more iron that we should grab. And there's a... Uh, a big pit of lava over here and that's how I died I did end up falling into the lava because I was being chased by a uh, creeper and two zombies but uh, the point of showing you this is not to show you where I died but it's to show you that we now have access to lava which is something I'm thrilled about and I also need to tell you guys one thing uh, I, I'm using the updated faithful pack it's good for 1.1 now and a lot of you remember that the one thing I didn't like about the pack was the fact that the water and lava animations, uh, they didn't move. The lava and water didn't move when it's in, in when it's in its still form. I'm having trouble like telling you what I'm saying here. It only uh, was animated when it was flowing. Well, I got a personal message from one of my viewers, and they taught me how to use MC Patcher to make it so that it's default water and lava. So now it's moving even though it's still. So we found lava close near the surface, which is something I'm thrilled about. And uh, we also got our texture pack pretty much perfect now, so I am extremely thrilled. Here comes another zombie. That's kind of what I was talking about. Yeah, buddy. And there's another creeper. I'm starting to think that there's some sort of spawner down here. Obviously, there's no creeper spawners in the game, but uh, I'm, I'm convinced there's a zombie spawner of some sorts. Yeah, come on, die. There we go. Because there have literally been six zombies and two or three creepers that have come from that area already. So where was I? I was grabbing this iron. I really need to block this lava up though because I do keep dying by it. So let me grab a couple pieces here. So yeah, uh, as I had said in the beginning of the video, I'm in a really good mood today. And I'm going to tell you exactly why. Uh, it's a combination of a couple of things. One, it's cold where I live again. I've mentioned it before. It doesn't get cold here ever. And when it is... It's it's awesome. It just makes everybody's mood uh, so good. Everyone just enjoys themselves because, you know, we're not sitting here sweating like crazy. Uh, we have the windows open in our house and uh, we don't have to turn the air on. And I actually get to wear a jacket, which is what I'm doing right now. And uh, I don't know. It's just it's great. I love when it's cold. So uh, that's one thing. Oh, creeper. Now, I actually... I uh, wanted to mention one thing. The reason why this episode is out late, this was supposed to be Friday's episode, and I'm recording this on Saturday afternoon. I actually wasn't feeling good yesterday on Friday. I got what I guess is a migraine. You know, I get headaches a lot, but I think that this was uh, a legitimate migraine, which is obviously worse than a regular headache. Um, I was... Let me kill this guy real quick before he kills me. I was sitting in school on Friday and I started having trouble seeing like my vision was actually uh, really blurry thanks to the migraine and it was a bit creepy because I've never gotten like a real migraine before but uh, I came home and basically took a nap went to sleep from the time I got home till about dinner time and then I uh, kind of took it easy and then went to bed early and slept in today and I feel a hundred percent better now I think it was just you know a standard migraine uh, which is no fun, but anyways, that's the reason why I didn't record. I could barely 
read my handwriting on my paper sitting in front of me during school. So uh, there was going to be no chance of me sitting in front of a computer and recording a 30-minute episode. And I would have been in, an, uh, in honestly, a terrible mood if I would have tried to do so. So that's why this video is a bit late, but uh, everything's good now, and I'm really excited to be recording this video. Alright, so now I've been lighting up this cave here. Now I wanted to explore it off camera, but I figured that a lot of you uh, would like to see me actually go through this. And somebody commented that I should use more torches. Uh, I'm trying to conserve my coal right now because even though I have a decent amount, I still don't have, you know, stacks and stacks of it. So I am going to try to conserve my coal a bit. Uh-oh. Oh, man, that scared me. Stay back. Stay back. I know you're kind. Oh, yep. That's you. Oh, man. We already got a creeper explosion. Five minutes into the video. Awesome. All right, so I think that pretty much takes care of this small cave. Uh, I didn't have too much to offer. Let's see. A couple of pieces of iron, some coal. Uh, the usual. All right, I guess we're just going to head back up now. Hopefully it's not nighttime. All right, so one of the other reasons that I'm in such a great mood today, uh, I actually have, it's kind of like final now. I am getting to go on a trip that I've been wanting to go on pretty much my whole life during spring break. Now, spring break isn't till March, uh, for anybody who's wondering, uh, or at least it is, you know, where I go to school. And I'm not going to tell anybody where I'm going just yet, not because I'm worried or anything like that, but because I, I think I'm going to end up doing surprise vlogs from the area that I'm going to. And uh, like I said, it's a place that I've wanted to go pretty much my entire life. So uh, I am very, very thrilled about that. Uh, we bought the plane tickets, and now I'm really, really excited. Uh, another thing, I've been kind of looking around for a new computer now. Uh, there's nothing wrong with my computer, but uh, it doesn't play Minecraft that great. I mean, it plays it just fine. I mean, I'm obviously recording with it right now, and uh, there's absolutely no lag. But I am on fast uh, graphics setting, and I'm on normal render distance, and, you know, uh, decreased particles and things like that. And I'd like to be able to run it at high settings. And I'm looking at an actual iMac. Now, I have the Mac Mini right now. But what the iMac is, is uh, the computer is actually built into the monitor itself. And, you know, I'm just, I'm just looking around. Nothing's, you know, going to be happening anytime soon. But I just thought I'd let you guys know that. Maybe uh, you can give me suggestions. I was looking for anybody who knows about Macs. I'm not exactly sure how many of you actually uh, use Macs due to the fact that uh, Minecraft is a PC game, and I'm sure a lot of you do have PCs, but I'm looking at a, a quad-core i7 iMac. They're really, really nice. They're kind of expensive, though, so I don't know, but I've been looking around with them, and I'm really excited about that, too. So, yeah, uh, in short, I'm just, like, in a really, really good mood today. So I figured it'd be a good time to record our episode. So uh, let me think of what we're going to do today, because I have to decide on what projects I want to start, and I'll be back to you guys in a minute. Alright guys, so we have a couple of important jobs to do. Uh, there's going to be a lot of sped up portions here. I need to dig out all of this gravel and clean stone and replace it with dirt. That's just to make things look nice and I actually do need the cobblestone. I'm really short on it. After that, we're going to head over to the desert here and grab a whole bunch of sand. And then after that, we're going to grab a whole bunch of uh, lumber. We're going to go searching for trees and try to get a lot of logs because... What I want to start doing is building out our area here. We need a storage room, we need uh, a mining quarry, and we need building materials for, our, the, uh, for all those things. So we're going to need the sand for glass and obviously the lumber for wooden planks to build. So this part is going to be sped up. I'm going to start taking this out and I'll get to you guys as soon as I'm done with that.
Alright guys, so we basically got, you know, almost all that area changed into dirt. I just have to fill in a couple more pieces here. So I wanted to talk to you guys about something a bit random here. Uh, this has nothing to do with the gameplay at all, and I do realize that, but... I had mentioned this on my vlogging channel, which is my second channel. For those of you who don't know about it, uh, you can feel free to go subscribe to it. But I had brought up the show Jersey Shore, and... Uh, I'm starting to realize that, you know, some people like that show, a lot of people don't like that show. That's basically what I've heard so far, uh, the general consensus, basically. And I wanted to hear your guys' opinion on it. And I know that more people watch my Let's Play videos than my, uh, my vlog videos, which is perfectly fine. It's not anything that I'm worried about. But I just want to know what you guys think. Uh, do you like the show, The Jersey Shore? And now I'm going to tell you what I think about it. I actually do like that show, believe it or not, and that might be surprising. Uh, just based off how many people really don't like it. I wanted to hear what you guys think of it, because I do enjoy the show. It might be, uh, you know, a bit stupid, that's for sure. But, you know what, I think it's entertaining. So, uh, I figured I'd ask that question over here on this channel, uh, just to see what you guys had to say. Now, right now, I'm just setting up some furnaces, because we're going to need a place to cook all the glass. So, now we got like a little 2x2 two two square of furnaces here. That should be plenty don't think we're gonna need more than eight stacks of glass which is how much we can cook here now we're gonna run back to the to our uh, little shack now we're gonna grab some shovels and some coal to bring back to here then we're probably gonna take a nap and then head over to the desert so let me get all that done and I'll be back to you guys as soon as I'm finished alright guys so now I'm back and I've grabbed a couple of important things I brought over eight stacks of coal so we're gonna put eight pieces in each furnace now, for those of you who are unfamiliar, eight stack or eight pieces of coal can cook an entire stack of items, whether it be sand or clean stone or whatever. So that's why I brought over specifically eight stacks of eight. Now each furnace is ready to cook one stack of items. I also brought over some saplings. Now I told you that I wanted to collect a lot of lumber. Well, we are going to go out and still do that, but it would be nice to have some trees growing here as well. That way, when we get back, maybe they'll have been. Maybe they will grow in and we'll be able to harvest these as well. So just a tip for anybody wanting to make a tree farm. Uh, trees like birch trees and regular oak trees can grow right next to each other or one block apart. But they will grow a lot faster if you give them three spaces in every direction. That much space is not needed, but uh, in my past experience, they do grow a lot faster when you actually give them plenty of room to grow. So that's why I do space them three blocks apart in every single direction. Uh, it really does pay off. It takes a lot of room, or it takes a lot of land, I guess, a lot of space, but uh, it is definitely worth it in the long run. So, you know, now we got a couple of trees growing here, and I also like to go and place some torches so they can grow during the night, even though we're going to skip it. It doesn't hurt to have them there. Let's put one here and here. So there we go. We got a little mini tree farm. Let's take a nap. And I also made a whole bunch of shovels, as you can see. So uh, we're definitely prepared to go grab plenty of sand. I figured that we'd grab more sand than we needed now. That way we don't have to go back anytime soon. Uh, so that's the game plan, if you're wondering why I'm going to grab so many stacks of it. Alright, so now, like I said, I saw a desert over here. And obviously deserts have so much sand, it's not even funny, so... Uh, we definitely won't have any shortage of sand, and we'll be able to make tons of glass, tons of glass panes. Uh, it'll definitely pay off. Now, what I like to do is I like to make what are called sand quarries, which is basically where you find uh, an area on top of a sand dune. Now, the reason you want it to be on top of the sand dune is because you'll get more layers out of it. Now, let me explain. If I were to start a sand quarry down there, where it's really close to sea level, the sand's only going to go down four blocks or so. Well... There's already sand at this level here, so if we go all the way up to this sand dune, there's going to be sand throughout the entire way down. Meaning that you'll get more sand and you'll be able to dig it farther down until you get to about sea level. So that's why we're going to go all the way on top of this dune. And what I normally do is I make like a 15 by 15 quarry. Now, I don't plan on digging it all the way out, but it just gives you enough sand so that whenever you need more, uh, you can just come back and keep digging. So, uh, I'm going to get to digging this. I might play some music in the background here that I have permission for. And uh, that way you guys, you know, aren't bored and just listening to the sound of me digging up sand. So, let me get started digging this out. I'm only going to dig uh, at most eight stacks, which won't take too long. Uh, so, let me get through this and I'll see you guys at the end.
All right, so now we have eight stacks of sand. That's exactly how much I wanted to grab. Now, another good thing about doing these sand quarries is, as you can see, there's a ton of sandstone here. So uh, if we ever decide to build with sandstone, we will come back here and collect it all. It's a lot easier than having to take stacks of sand like this and try to build it out. It uh, wastes a lot of sand doing it that way, and it's a lot easier to just harvest it with a pickaxe. All right, so let's head back over to our base, and we'll get this stuff cooking. All right, so we're going to uh, harvest these two trees here. Now, what I want to do uh, next... Now, I know I said I would grab some some lumber, but I don't think there's a big need for it right this moment. So I think we might hold off on that. I might, you know, harvest some lumber off camera. But what I want to do is start gathering some animals into maybe a little a fenced in area. Now, this is definitely not going to be a permanent animal farm. It is just going to be uh, temporary. That way we can at least start, you know, gathering some animals because uh, there's a lot of them around my base and I want to start, you know, gathering them together now that way. Uh, we can start breeding them, and then once our real, you know, town here, or whatever you want to call it, this area that we're going to be building, uh, once it's, you know, fully developed, we'll have, you know, already a ton of animals waiting for us to use. So I think it'll definitely be a good thing now. I only have 28 fences here, so we're not going to be able to make it uh, super, super large, but uh, it really doesn't need to be. Alright, so that's a pretty nice size, you know, holding tank, I guess, for the animals. Now, we're going to make uh, two two fences here, or fence gates, rather, because uh, it makes it a lot easier to gather the animals and let them get into the pen uh, when you have a double fence gate. Uh, when you do a single fence gate, the hitbox seems to be pretty small, and it's really difficult to get uh, multiple animals in at once, but when you got double, uh, when you got a double fence gate, it makes things a lot easier. So that's, so that's what we're going to be doing. Let me make those up real quick. Let me see if I remember how to make gates. All right, I believe you go like that. Uh, I think we need another set of sticks. Should be like this. Now, I do need two of them, as I said, so we should be able to put two pieces of wood there. Yep. Cool. We got two fence gates now. Now, we're just going to place these here. And there we go. So now we have a little area and we should start gathering air or gathering animals rather. Now I saw a bunch of sheep and a bunch of pigs around our base and I saved this wheat for exactly what we're about to start doing which is uh, you know just getting animals attracted into the pen. So uh, I think that'll be the last thing we do this episode. Let's start you know gathering a bunch of animals. So I see a chicken up here. We're gonna get him to come with us. Yeah come on buddy. Come with me. Yeah. All right, so I saw a bunch of sheep over here, and here they are. We're going to get all these. Uh, once we get these uh, bad boys breeding, uh, we'll have a ton of wheat, pretty much just like an unlimited amount. So we need them all to come with us. Yep, there we go. This way, right this way. You guys are about to go down a big drop now. What would be cool is if I could get them just to fall right into the pen because I have it built up against the mountain here. I could just have them drop down. <laughs> there you go. That's good. Now, I actually am going to breed two of these guys. Let a baby sheep uh, come into this world. There we go. And then I'm just going to walk out the fence myself. All right. Now, I had captured a pink sheep. And you might be thinking, what the heck is he talking about? Well, I had seen a pink sheep uh, when I was playing off camera trying out uh, Minecraft 1.1. And I trapped him in a little hole, and that sounds really, really cruel, but I didn't want him to get away. I wasn't going to chance it. So I wonder if he is still in the hole. It's over there where the torches are, and we're going to go check it out as soon as we get some of these guys together. Come on, buddy. Stop trampling the drops. Come with me. See if we can get this chicken, too. Then we can breed some chickens. Yeah, right here. Oh, yeah. Come on. Now we're talking.
Yeah, join the party. The water's great. Alright, let's get these guys breeding. Get the chickens breeded. Oh, they're already eating up the grass. Oh my goodness, I forgot that. Sheeps eat grass now and they regrow their wool. That is awesome. Alright, another baby sheep. This is looking good. Man, we have got the party going over here. Now, I really do want to go see about that pink sheep, so that's what we're going to do right now. I need to eat some bread first. I see a black sheep over there as well, and another white sheep. So there's definitely a lot of sheep around our base. Now, I did see some pigs, which is something we're going to go look for as soon as I get this pink sheep out. Uh, because we're definitely going to need pigs for a good source of food. Now, we will have certain farms like crop farms and uh, maybe melon farms if we can find some melon seeds. But until then, we can definitely use a bunch of pigs. And there it is, another pink sheep. Oh, yeah. Come with me. Hey, follow me. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. Right this way. Man, I, I it's so cool. This is the second peak... Uh, pink sheep that I found on this world and I rarely find pink sheep so uh, it's really really cool to have found this many so far come on uh, let's see if we can pick up these other sheep while we're here yeah, there you go. Well, at least we got one of them. Where's the chicken? Where'd the chicken go? There he is. Yep. Yeah, hop on down. There we go. Now we're talking. Man, our animal pen is looking good. Okay, so now we're going to go look for the pigs that I said I found. They're right behind this mountain here. And if we can get at least two pigs into the into the little pen over there, uh, we'll be pretty much set for now. There, there won't be any need uh, to get any more animals over there except for cows because of the fact that uh, we can multiply our numbers by simply just, you know, breeding them. We won't have to go out and search for any more. But I do want to see if the pigs are still here. All right, where are they? I know they're over here somewhere. Where were they? I'm not exactly positive as to where they were. I thought they were over here. I don't see them, though. Hmm. Maybe they were behind the NPC village? Yeah, I'm not, I'm not exactly sure. I would like to grab some pigs, though. Uh, bring them along with us. Hopefully, we'll be able to find a couple. Alright, so it looks like chickens are going to have to be the next best thing. I cannot find any pigs, but uh, we got a black sheep here, and we got a couple of chickens. We had four of them. I think one of them got left behind, so we're down to three. But at least we got a black sheep. That'll always uh, come in handy. Black wool is pretty rare, uh, you know, if I had to guess. So I guess this will be the last shipment of animals we bring into our pen. And uh, from there, we'll end the episode, guys. So I hope you have enjoyed episode 5 of season 3 of our Minecraft Let's Play. This was the first 30-minute special. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed it because I, it has been requested a lot. The next 30-minute special will be in episode 10. So be looking forward to that. Be sure to hit the thumbs up button if you did enjoy this video. Uh, the support is very much appreciated. And uh, I love, you know, just to see you guys being active. Feel free to leave any comments, giving me feedback or suggestions. And if you are new to my channel and this is the first video you've seen of mine, uh, subscribe if you'd like to see more because I do do these episodes uh, pretty regularly, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And a sheep has escaped. Yeah, that's not going to happen. No, 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 no. Everybody back in here, back inside. I have the food. You're going to want to be next to me. Alright, you know what, sheep? 
you're gonna get cheered and then killed because you're not cooperating <laughs> anyways guys i'll see you on monday with episode six of the let's play other than that have a great day and i'll talk to you all soon peace